Can I have a kiss? Charles? Hey guys, so in addition to Picasso being missing, there's a heat wave where I live in California. And on top of that, everyone's electricity has gone out in many cities across Los Angeles and as far as Long Beach. So I have to keep my birds cool because we have no electricity, no air conditioning, and the birds are hot. You could tell birds are hot when they open their mouths and they kind of pant. That always means that your bird is overheated. So I actually can't even go out and look for Picasso because I have to be spraying these guys every 10 minutes. Now, we did come up with a solution, so I think I'm gonna show it to you. Now remember we were cleaning out the aviary when we lost Picasso, that's not how we lost Picasso. But um, let me just show you. We had bought misters a while ago. They used to be set up at our old house. They weren't set up now but we found that it's safer for them to be outside with their misters. I don't know if you guys can hear or see it. Here's one hanging. This is kind of like, <laughs> not a professional rig right now. This is just like, oh my God, we're in a dire situation. So remember, even if you have a power outage, you most likely have running water, though it's cold. If you're in the middle of a heat wave, um, that could be really beneficial. Vinny catches on quickly, Vinny stands right under it. If these were hooked up properly, it would look a lot nicer, but right now we just kind of have them going all throughout the aviary. And on Rocky, as you could see Rocky, where's Rocky? Rocky loves it. And they're a little bit hesitant sometimes. Vinny, he's smart. Let's go in the, here. So it looks kind of empty in here because we were in the middle of cleaning it. Whoa, it's all wet here. Vinny, do you like it? Do you like the water hitting you? You're a good bird. You're such a good bird. Yes, you are. Jersey's a little depressed. She misses Picasso. Do you see that? Do you see that mouth thing that she's doing? Um, in this case, she's actually getting some water and licking it, but it looks kind of like that when a bird is too hot. Their mouths are open. But she's right now at least got her footsies under the mister. Ooh, it's misty everywhere. Well, let me show you how Cody's handling it. Cody doesn't mind being sprayed down, but he's not under it right now, and Leo's acting like a pansy. So we just have to get Leo a little better acquainted. He doesn't know what he stepped into, but he doesn't tend to get as hot as the other birds. I think he comes. He's okay. It's okay. Look, feel this. It's okay, you're with mommy. It's okay. Ooh. Oh. It's not cold, but it's dripping I'm under the dripping part. Yeah, it's fine. You sit there. That's a good spot for you. Just make sure they're all acquainted and alert. Even Cody, even though he's camping out over here, I just want to make sure he understands that it's not so bad. You're okay. See, it's just mist. It's cool. It's nice. It's nice, right? Yeah. It's cool. You can see. Oh, another way you can tell if birds are a little too hot or too cold is the temperature of their beak. If I have my birds in any situation where I feel like their beak is cold or their feet are cold, then um, I don't want them to be in that situation. And likewise, if their beak is too hot. Minnie does really well. Look at Leo. He's acting like such a baby. Look at him. Oh my God. Look at you. Oh, now you're acting cool for the camera? Yeah, what about you? So, a lot of unfortunate events happening here, but we're dealing with it and um, still miss my Picasso, obviously. Yeah, you miss Picasso too. And that's the story for now. I just thought I would show you guys this. I think it's really important to have some of these things at hand. The misters actually we got from Home Depot. So um, it's something you can just go in there and attach to your hose and basically make a mister. It's amazing. Okay, I hope you guys like that. Bye.